everybody. Right now I'm staying dry, but we're here at the Black History Museum and they're getting things ready. It's gonna be opening soon, but tomorrow there will be an illumination ceremony. And here with me I have Tasha Chambers to explain that. Tasha, what is gonna be going on here tomorrow? So tomorrow we're having our illumination ceremony where we'll actually turn on all the lights in the building, inside and out. So for many, many years, this building has not been lit. So we're excited to actually have the lights turn on, have the community, the community come out to celebrate with us. So it's gonna be an exciting event tomorrow. Awesome. And there's gonna be some entertainment. You were saying there's a choir performing mm -hmm. tomorrow? So yes, we'll have a wonderful performance by the Richmond Boys Choir. We'll have remarks from a special guest, and actually a few special guests. And we'll have participation from lots of the museums around here. So you have BMFA, who uh, will have representation tomorrow, uh, Virginia Historical Society, um, American Civil War Museum, just so much support yeah. tomorrow. A lot going into this, and when will this reopen? I mean, it's 85% complete. When can we see the whole thing? So we have a planned opening of January 2016, and we're so excited. Awesome, so we'll be looking forward to it. You can kind of see over here behind us, they're getting ready. We've got a construction worker in the back. So this is your quick little sneak peek of what you can expect at the Black History Museum. But tomorrow, you guys, don't be late. Six o'clock, get here early, she was saying, and you'll be right across the street at Abner Park, but 122 West Lee Street is where you can find this awesome museum. For 12 About Town, I'm Candice Smith. Central Virginia's breaking weather specialist. This is NBC 12 First Warning Weather. I am here in the Weather Center with one of the newest members of our team. This is Megan Wye. We're so happy to have you, Megan. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Yeah. Uh, we know you're a Another meteorologist, but tell us a little bit job. more about yourself. Absolutely. I'm coming from Chattanooga, Tennessee, oh, where I was right. a meteorologist as well, and uh -huh. I'm originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. There you go. So that's a little bit about me. Yeah, I'm just yeah. excited to be in Richmond. Oh, we're excited to have you. Hopefully yeah. you can get some sunshine. You will change your mind, yes. honey. Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Tomorrow oh. and this weekend. <laughs> we have to get this little bit of rain out of the way, and it is pushing to the east. On the first warning Doppler radar, you can see just a couple of showers as we go into eastern Henrico County to talk about even some moderate rain pushing through Tappahannock this evening. But as far as back to the west, we are starting to see some clearing as you go through Charlottesville. This cold front is going to continue to move to the east. And once it does that, some drier and cooler air is going to filter into the area. So that means more sunshine will be in the forecast for tomorrow. As far as our elephant insurance weather net goes, temperatures right now in the middle 60s, and we picked up over an inch of rain in Farmville today. Wood Lake picked up over oh, eight tenths of an inch, and Bonaire a little over half an inch of rain for this afternoon. Now, as far as our almanac goes, certainly a warm day. We made up to 67 degrees after a start at 60 degrees, and that precipitation at Richmond Airport was at eight tenths of an inch of rain. Now, your hour by hour forecast, that rain is going to continue to make its way off to the east. So clearing is going to start to filter in tonight and into tomorrow morning. And lots of sunshine is going to be in the forecast for our Friday. But temperatures are going to be cooler and it is going to be a little bit breezy right out of the north. But nonetheless, a nice fall day is in store for us to end the work week tomorrow. Now heading into our forecast for our Friday, those temperatures are going to start in the upper 40s but let's walk you through this evening we'll stay in the low 60s and again clearing skies as we go throughout this evening your forecast for tomorrow starts in the upper 40s lots of sunshine we warm up into the mid 50s by the lunchtime hour you can see and no rain in the forecast high temperatures top out into the upper 50s and those rain chances remain low for the next couple of days only a 20 percent chance of rain coming in on sunday and that's for portions southeast of Richmond, but then as we make our way into next week, 0% rain chance for Monday and on into the midweek, Tuesday and Wednesday. Travel day looking great if you are doing any traveling for the Thanksgiving holiday. No rain in the forecast, lots of sunshine, but temperatures are going to be a lot cooler. Upper 50s for tomorrow, mid 50s as we head into Saturday. Even cooler for Sunday, 50 degrees and heading into Monday, cold day. Starting the day with temperatures in the upper 20s. High temperatures only in the upper 40s, but then they will begin to moderate as we head into midweek. 54 degrees for Tuesday and 55 for Wednesday. Carla? All right. Thanks, Megan. New at 530, lessons in love from two young children in Chesapeake. Eight-year-old David Spisak is dying of cancer. Now, you might think mm. he'll never grow up and find love, but it turns out he already has. That hurts. Really, that really hurts. Sorry. I love you. 
Eight-year-old David Spisak and his girlfriend, seven-year-old Ayla Andrews, Ugh, have the sweetest love story. Yes, they are young and in love. Walk on water for her. The pair met on the first day of second grade, but shortly after, David had to stop going to school. That's because he's now battling leukemia. In fact, David has been battling cancer since he was two years old. He's already had two transplants. We label them by numbers, so we're on cancer number four as of March. Now, David has lost the ability to walk. My oh. legs started hurting. I couldn't stand anymore. And doctors are now giving him just weeks to live. Mm. So his parents allowing him to do just that, live. This past weekend, David and Ayla had their first date. They went bowling, and both of them looked excited just to be with each other. He forced himself out. Not only did he stand up, he walked. He stood up and bowled, and she was there right beside him the whole time. How do you know you love her? My heart. His heart tells him. My heart knows. I know. <laughs> Mine does too. She knows what's coming, and she just wants him to be happy and wants him to smile as long as possible. Even during the interview when David got tired, Ayla never left his side. Just trying to hold that so I don't die. <laughs> okay, stop it, me with nope. the banana. She's definitely had an impact on his spirit and um, I haven't seen the side of him in a long time. That is such a sweet story. David even got a kiss on the cheek during his bowling date. His first kiss. Oh boy. <laughs> We're coming up oh with Good boy. Samaritan, an act of kindness, and the recipient paying it forward. Can you believe all of that because of a hubcap? Coming up, wait until you hear and see the note that explains it all. Today's weather is sponsored by The Dump, the nickname that became the icon and America's number one furniture outlet. Protecting your home is a priority for every homeowner. You can rest easy knowing your home's protected with a monitored home security system. Mike Melton, expert in home security, joins us now with some important details. Welcome, Mike. Thank you for having me on. When you turn on the news, you see that there's a lot of home burglaries. Here's an interesting fact. The FBI reported over 2 million burglaries last year alone. The shocking thing is most of these burglaries are daytime. That is a shocking statistic. Do you think that alone would get people thinking about a security system? And right now, they are. Uh, there's many benefits to getting a security system. Uh, first off, you're three times less likely to have your home broken into just by having a security system. You get 24-7 monitoring for burglar, fire, and medical emergencies. And you also get to save up to 20% every year on your homeowner's insurance. So what do people need to do to protect their home with a security system? It's easy. All you have to do is give us a call. Right now we're giving away a free, complete home security system package. It's the new wireless home security system, which means no more ugly holes in your walls or exposed wiring. It's a comprehensive package that we include for you, free of charge. Now, the monitoring is done by ADT. ADT is the number one monitoring company in the country. All you pay is $99 down for the installation and the monitoring, which is only about a dollar a day. And I understand you have something special for the viewers at home. The next 20 people that call us and order a security system are going to receive a $100 Visa gift card. So we basically pay you a dollar to get your home protected. Now is the best time to protect your home and your family. Give us a call right now. We have security advisors standing by to take your call. They'll walk you through everything right over the phone. We're usually able to do next day installations to help you protect your home as soon as possible. Call 1-888-365-1362. That's 1-888-365-1362. Y'all need that protection, get it? They wouldn't let me sell it. Download the NBC12 breaking news app so you're the first to know about news happening now. The crowds have been tremendous. That's right, folks. Hundreds of Value Wise customers are taking advantage of these unbelievable savings at the giant $1 million quitting business sale at Holiday House and Home Center in Aylet. Extra sales staff and parking are being made available to help with this once in a lifetime event. It's the bargain hunter's dream. But you must hurry. It won't last long. Don't miss this chance to buy the furniture you've always wanted for the price you've always wanted to pay. The giant $1 million quitting business sale at Holiday House and Home Center in Aylet. going on now. 
Now only Ford offers $750 Black Friday bonus cash on select vehicles on top of Ford friends and neighbors pricing. That doesn't happen every day. Make Black Friday hassle-free with low prices on Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs. And get $750 Black Friday bonus cash on select Ford vehicles on top of all other offers. It's an inside deal. Now for everyone. Hurry, for a limited time, get $750 Black Friday bonus cash on select vehicles on top of all other low Ford friends and neighbors offers. It all ends November 30th. Police in Pennsylvania are looking for an arsonist who was caught on video catching himself on fire. Ah! <laughs> lit 11 vehicles on fire at a Philadelphia repair yard. Then the security camera captures him accidentally setting his left hand and arm on fire. Ah! Police say the suspect likely has serious burns and they're asking hospitals to be on the lookout. Well, there is one thing few car owners can agree on more than this. Only having three hubcaps is just about the ugliest thing that can happen to your car. Greg Bartlett had been living with that black eye on his car for three months, but lo and behold, one night after leaving work, Bartlett found that magical 14-inch circle of plastic attached to the wheel where one had been missing. A good Samaritan did the honors and left a note on his windshield. It starts out, yo, dog, I noticed your car only had three hubcaps. My car, at one time, also only had three hubcaps. Now the letter continues, and I quote, I feel like a bad version of the rap guy who pimps rides. Enjoy the sweet hubcaps, playa. Signed, the world's most random good <laughs> Samaritan. Bartlett says the circle of molded plastic and the kindness of a stranger means the world to him as he works to build his life anew. He, in turn, <laughs> bought dinner for a down co-worker. Oh, very good. Paying it forward. Let's check in now with Curtin Sabrina to see what's coming up at 6. Guys, he has now been named and charged. Coming up at 6, what we're learning about the suspect accusing of violent abduction in Chaco Bottom. Boss, can your skin color cost you a mortgage? The local housing sure. group says it has proved that it's happening here in Richmond for minutes away from 12 News at 6. I'm gonna leave. that's right for you and get ready to connect. Bill Talley Ford's Friends and Neighbors Pricing Event is the lowest prices of the year. One price, no hassle, and all prices include free. Take advantage of no hassle buying at Bill Talley Ford of Mechanicsville or at BillTalleyFord.com. Every day, Dominion lineman Justin Worley helps power the industries that power our region and our nation. Here in Virginia, we have the highest concentration of tech workers in the country. And more than 50% of U.S. Internet traffic passes through our state, transforming businesses and lives. Technology is just one of the many sectors that depend on us to deliver reliable energy today and into the future. Dominion. What we do every day powers Virginia's every day. is Richmond's Christmas Station. Playing continuous holiday music now through Christmas Day. Christmas 98.1. Bill Talley Ford's Friends and Neighbors Pricing Event is the lowest prices of the year. One price, no hassle, and all prices include free. Take advantage of no hassle buying at Bill Talley Ford of Mechanicsville or at BillTalleyFord.com. Wake up tomorrow morning and tune your TV to NBC 12. We've got weather and traffic to help you plan your day and your weekend. That's right, Andrew, and I'll have a look at events happening all around town. Plus, all you Hokie fans' details on increased security at the game tomorrow on 12 News Today. The Richmond Antique Spectacular at the Meadow Event Park Exhibition Hall this Saturday and Sunday, just 15 minutes north of Richmond. On your side, NBC 12 News starts now. New details coming in about this week's horrific carjacking, abduction, and shooting. Tonight, police are naming the suspect and the charges he faces. That suspect, 36-year-old Frank E. Reed, remains in the hospital, but he is in custody and he's facing a host of charges tonight. Brittany McDonald standing by live at the Richmond Police Headquarters with some new information. Brittany? 
Yeah, that's right. Frank Reed was charged with four felonies in this case, and this guy has a hefty rap sheet, already serving several years in jail for similar charges. Ooh. Now, Reed was charged in connection to Monday's string of violent events, which began with him allegedly trying to rob a man at a gas station on Main Street in the middle of the day. Then having that man and his passenger drive him to the Bank of America a few blocks away to withdraw cash where one victim would be able to alert police. From there, police say he led them on a 30-minute pursuit with the hostage still inside the car before they were able to stop him, where officers and Reed exchanged gunfire, and Reed allegedly shot his hostage in the head. Reed was shot Ooh. by officers and has been in the hospital since. The victim, who works at a Richmond law firm, is said to be in stable condition. Reed's been charged with two counts of robbery and two counts of a use of a firearm in the commission of a felony. Police have not yet said if Reed will face charges in the alleged shooting of that hostage. We'll keep you updated with any new information as we continue following this developing story. For now, on your side in Richmond, Brittany McDonald, NBC 12. Thanks, Brittany. And right now, Richmond police looking for a suspect in another high-profile crime this week. They say this guy, Anwar Wawa Phillips, is a suspect in the triple shooting that killed a man and left another man and his 7-year-old daughter wounded. This all happened at the Blue Ridge Apartments Monday night. Phillips public is going to visit hotels along the Lothian Turnpike, and a $5,000 reward is now being offered for his capture. If you can help find this suspected killer, please call Richmond Police. And happening now, the U.S. House of Representatives votes overwhelmingly to keep Syrian refugees out of the country. That vote now sets up a showdown between congressional Republicans and the president with our own Get battle Obama. doing right here in Richmond. Get him Mike Obama Valerio has the latest speed. on what's happening from Congress to the state capitol and might bring us up to speed. Well, Sabrina, we told you on the news at 5 that we were still waiting for a response from Congressman Dave Bratt. Well, we just got it on my phone a short time ago, and let's jump right to it. First and foremost, he's talking about the SAFE Act, which passed the U.S. House earlier this afternoon, and he tells me, quote, I signed the American Security Against Foreign Enemies Act in order to ensure that our homeland is protected. The act will require a more stringent security verification of Syrian refugees and the signatures from three key agencies that refugees admitted to the U.S. do not pose a national security threat. Breaking that all down, that means the heads of DHS, national intelligence, and the FBI would all have to personally vouch that each refugee from Syria is not a threat. Now this is seen as a tall order, Republicans making somebody accountable here. But can this pass in D.C.? No. Right now the outlook is a resounding no. The Senate does not have the votes and the President says that he's going to straight up veto this bill. That brings us back to Richmond, where Governor McAuliffe hasn't joined fellow governors asking to pause Syrian resettlements, but he has to deal with two Republican-controlled chambers, as well as public opinion, which absolutely uh, is against settling Syrian refugees here in the Commonwealth, according to the latest poll numbers out just a few days ago. Of course, we'll see how this all pans out when the General Assembly comes back here in just a few weeks to get the 2016 session started once again. But for now, that is the latest live tonight from the State Capitol. Mike Valerio, NBC 12. Thanks, Mike. We have an update now to an on-your-side investigation about a Henrico man fighting for his freedom. Samuel Daniels remains in prison despite a court order that says he should be released. Ooh. And like a reporter, Ashley Montfort has been trying to get answers. And since her first report, there does appear to be progress. Ashley, what can you tell us? Well, Kurt, I just found out this afternoon after an extra two months of waiting behind bars, Samuel Daniels now has a new court date. He also has a new lawyer taking a look at the case. And the Attorney General's office is also reviewing the case as well. And for the first time, Daniels is speaking out about this ordeal. According to these court documents, Samuel Daniels, an inmate at Sussex 2 Prison, has been behind bars two months too long. And all I think about is freedom because he gave me, he let me, gave me freedom, but they don't want to let me go. Last week, we told you Daniels' story. Court documents show a Henrico judge suspended the remainder of Daniel's sentence after he successfully completed a drug rehabilitation program. But the Virginia Department of Corrections says this court order is invalid, citing a Virginia law that says a trial judge loses jurisdiction 
21 days after a final order. What was going through your mind when you were told you were when not going to be released right away? I was just mad, plus they asked him, why, why do I have to go all the way back to the penitentiary just to get released? We looked into the possibility that the DOC is wrong in holding Daniels. That's something his new attorney agrees with. Why oh, yeah, he's being unlawfully detained. No other court in See. Virginia that has ruled that order to be invalid. So it's the attorney general's the office that's making law. that determination on its own, and they should not be doing that. They're trying to sidestep that whole procedure. That that's procedure right. is taking this matter to court, which hasn't happened until now. It will go before a judge next week, but the lawyer could take this case further. Motions for contempt against take the it. Department of Corrections and the Attorney General's take Office. It. Take and possibly, uh, worst case scenario, seeking a pardon from the governor because we all know what the judge's intent was when he issued the order. Daniel says he has been clean of drugs for eight months and is hoping to get out soon. The only thing I'm basically going to do is see with my wife, work, I still got a job, and go to church and be with my, my grandkids. I confirm where the Virginia Department of Corrections Daniels has no other current charges on his record. We'll continue to keep you updated on how this case progresses. On your side, I'm Ashley Monfort. See how they do our black people Thanks, in Ashley. Virginia. We have a crime alert now out of Petersburg where police are looking for that man. Police say he broke into Mike's auto sometime late Tuesday night by removing a pane of window. The suspect then took a small TV, some loose change, several keys, as well as a blue Mercedes that was later recovered. Call Crime Solvers at 861-1212 if you have any information on that man's whereabouts. It's a conversation sparking lots of comments on our Facebook page. An outgoing, trailblazing Richmond Traffic Court judge breaks her silence about what she alleges is a biased job evaluation process that led to her removal from the bench. Judge Bertie Hairston Jameson reached out to On Your Side investigator Diane a Walker nasty to help bitch. tell her story. Now at 6, Diane is here with bitch. more of our conversation and what's next for the judge. A nasty judge Jameson bitch. retires December 1st. Tonight, the presiding general district court judge talks to me about her bittersweet departure after 24 years. A nasty right. bitch. Judge Bertie Harrison Jameson is one of five judges She's not a nasty bitch. The Commonwealth's judicial evaluation filled out anonymously by 133 lawyers last year rated her the worst of 17 judges. That's evaluated. right, she's a I'm nasty bitch. To to the judge says she's tough on DUI defendants and their lawyers, and she believes rejecting plea deals hurt her. It would have been easy for me to say, oh, okay, yeah, and I probably would have been the most popular judge. In you're the a dirty bitch. Because I'm in the traffic court. And, and I'm glad they took your sorry ass out. If I went along with what everybody wanted me to do, then I'm sure I would be very popular. But my conscience would not bitch. allow me to do that. But I asked Republican Delegate Manoli Lupasi if that's what hurt her. Lupasi chaired the panel that certified She's the judges. Bitch. He chose not to talk on camera, but did respond through email, answering no. She had poor evaluations six years ago, so she knew there were problems. And six years later, the evaluations were the same or worse. I am very spiritual. Hey, not spiritual about you, in bitch. My heart that all a nasty bitch. Ha, 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 ha. People say, well, how can, Good you job. Come? how can you come to work? I'm not even worried about it because I believe that people who dig holes of other people end up in the holes of the I bitch. am being forced to retire because Good, I'm not being you dirty to bitch. It's an anonymous evaluation done by attorneys who have a vested interest of winning in the particular courtroom. So I really didn't think you that a nasty bitch. of people of a That's why your husband fucked around on you with Jackie Jackson. To not reappoint you a, a judge dirty been bitch. On for 24 years without any complaints at all. Delegate Lupasi writes, the question is not who is deserving or who feels entitled. The question is who would be the best judge. He says it's he's not her any ass. judge being pressured and says we want judges that follow the law and impart justice in a fair and equitable manner, who follow proper decorum, treat people in a dignified manner, and she and don't do none of that shit. She's a dirty the bitch. evaluations speak for themselves. In my courtroom, I didn't want to have a dual system of justice. The rich and guilty are treated better than the poor and innocent. You're a dirty bitch. You set me up. Really Good for enough for sure your ass. I treated everyone the same. 
No, you didn't. Before she retires, liar. Judge Jameson will be honored in a private ceremony where judges, attorneys, close friends, and family will pay tribute to her years of service to communities oh, fucking all over across people. Virginia. On your side, Diane Walker, NBC 12. Hip, hip, hooray! Yes, Diane. Some startling new details from a Richmond housing group that claims it's much harder for African Americans to get a new home loan than it is for white people. That's right, the, the loan office is prejudiced. Equal just released results from its three-year study, which finds blatant discrimination among area lenders, regardless of income. That's but right. Solomon live in Richmond with reaction. Fill us in, Brent. They've been well, just imagine applying to live all the American years. dream, only to get that letter in the mail to say, you've been denied. And according to a local Loan group, the underlying racist reason may pigs. have very little to do with whether or not you're truly qualified. For three months now, Byron Wimbish has called himself something he never has before, a homeowner. I've been had the itch. It was, um, but it got to the point it was just it's time to make that move, so. I always say I, I don't want to share walls. But walking in his shoes may not come easy, according to this new report from the group Housing Opportunities Made Equal. It claims in the they city know of Richmond, it. lenders, personal the buyers, loan offices often are racist. African Americans when it comes to getting a home loan and even refinancing. Researchers say from 2010 through 2013, 13% of white borrowers had loans denied, compared to 34% of blacks. It certainly did highlight some real Look at that nigga, it's he's a damn thief. Smith says he partners a cheat with and a liar. Agencies, so his clients have access to free counseling to learn the do's and don'ts before he's they a even dirty apply bitch for a home Smith loan. Smith the report suggests all that real in predominantly white neighborhoods, some 20% of home loans are denied. That's compared to neighborhoods made up of mostly minorities, where the group says nearly 50% of home loans are denied. It's a wake-up call to say to you, you know what? You're a crook, I bitch, see you what need can to happen. die. What can I do to make sure it doesn't happen to me? He says He's making sure you're prepared bitch. can put you ahead of any I potential hope God discrimination in the marketplace. And wipe out your whole family. Thirty low to moderate income minority families become successful homeowners this year. Wimbush says his success story serves as an example. Anyone can live the American dream. You'll find a way to get through. Now, according to that study, some lenders are intentionally offering astronomically high loan rates in areas where there's high poverty, where applicants may not have the best credit. That's why Smith says it's very important to make sure you're on track before you apply, and that could mean the difference between approval and rejection. On your side in Richmond, Brent Solomon, NBC. Don't Club. believe that shit. Well, a rainy day here in Central Virginia, finally easing out of here. Clearing skies working in from the west, all their full hour by hour forecast, and news and a, and a chill down this weekend coming up. Plus, good news, that trip to sunny Florida just got cheaper. Up next, we'll tell you about a new nonstop flight to Orlando announced for Richmond. And a reminder, our call 12 volunteers are here right now, ready to take your calls. Maybe there's a problem or something that you think we should be investigating. Give these folks a holler, 345-1212, the number. Those lines are open until 6.30. Mattress Discounter's Black Friday sale starts now. Sealy sets start at just $99 each piece. Get half off on all Serta Memory Foam and Gel sets. And save thousands on luxury brands including iSeries, Stearns & Foster, and Tempur-Pedic. Plus, save 20% on all power bases. All this plus get free next day delivery and set up on select sets. If you buy your mattress anywhere else, you'll pay too much. Hi, I'm Brian Mueller. And I'm Teresa Mueller. You know we do closets. But we also do so much more. From the everyday practical to modern day elegance. Get your free Live Better Home Organization consultation today by simply calling 804-559-0001. An organized closet can organize your day. But an organized home can organize your life. Call us today. And let us organize your life. Why Witten? Why now? Only Witten Brothers gives you a 10-year, 200,000-mile warranty with every new Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, or Ram. Why Witten? Witten Brothers has a 48-hour exchange policy. You'll never get the wrong vehicle. Why Witten? It's the Black Friday Blockbuster sales event. Why Witten? A loaner vehicle with every service visit. You'll never be inconvenienced again. Give Witten a shot. Why in the world would you not? 
Don't forget the 10-year, 200,000-mile warranty only at Whitten Brothers. Whitten Brothers save a buck. Radar, alerts, and accurate forecasts on your phone. Download the NBC12 First Morning Weather app now. I love long-distance running, yet a few years ago, plantar fasciitis made the pain in my feet debilitating. I could only run a mile or two. Finally, I went into the Good Feet store and found the answer. Custom Fit Art Supports. I ran my first marathon that year. And then because I believe in the Good Feet system so much, I bought the store. I'm Jonathan Cotton, and that's my Good Feet story. See for yourself with the free personalized art support fitting at the Good Feet store. is back in black with Black Friday pricing all month long. If you're looking for safety, technology, and value, look no further than Hyundai. While you beat the crowds, Hyundai beats the competition with the best warranty in the business. And during Hyundai's Black Friday sales event, drive Sonata with zero APR for 60 months. Zero for 60 on Sonata. Or get $5,000 in total savings. Don't miss Hyundai's Black Friday sales event at your greater Richmond Hyundai dealer. The countdown has begun. Only a few more hiring weeks left for great jobs at Amazon in Chester and Petersburg. This could be your last chance to earn a great pay rate of up to $13 an hour and a $250 signing bonus. We are making on-the-spot job offers all week. The sooner you start, the longer your earning opportunity lasts. To apply, walk right in or speed things up. Complete your application online, then visit our office for your interview. Don't miss your chance. Visit richmondworknow.com. Integrity Staffing, your opportunity engine. A Virginia mom diagnosed with Alzheimer's. I figured, no, you, you must be mistaken. The heartbreaking disease affecting people earlier in their lives. The thought of what it would do to my husband and children, it was devastating. Permission to raise awareness, Friday at 5. If your family loves Disney vacations, here's good news. Just announced this morning, non-stop flights from Richmond to Orlando. That's right, and for a short time, the price will be really, really low. On your side tonight, Sarah Bloom with everything you need to know. Crash and burn. Pack your Mickey ears and pack your briefcase. There's a new choice for a nonstop flight to one of Richmond's top five travel destinations. Beginning in April of 2016, Orlando is a popular spot, not just for well-known places like Disney, but also for many conventions and the sunny skies. I love the sun. Um, I love Disney. I have family there, and uh, it is the perfect place for me to go. Allegiant says the nonstop flight to Orlando will start April 14th. That's around the same time Southwest Airlines will end its nonstop service. Allegiant says the trips will be available on Thursdays or Sundays. The specific time of day isn't clear just yet. And the airline is hoping to sweeten the deal by offering the fare at just $29 each way. That's only for a short time, though. I really think that $29 fare is such an awesome opportunity for, for families to, to take that trip to Orlando that they've possibly been, been dreaming about doing. I take my grandkids sometimes, so that would be great if we could fly there a lot cheaper because we're not driving anymore. <laughs> Too old for that. <laughs> Here's what you need to know. To book that cheaper flight, go to Allegiant's website. You have to do it before Monday. After that, Allegiant officials say their average flights are about $80, but the prices will vary. On your side at Richmond International Airport, I'm Sarah Bloom. Central Virginia's breaking weather specialist. This is NBC 12 First Warning Weather. Temperature right now in Richmond is 67 degrees. We've actually crept up a bit over the past hour. Our dew point's pretty high, too. We saw that south and southwesterly wind working on the temperatures, keeping them up upper 60s to near 70 most areas this afternoon. We had a good bit of rain today. Let's look at radar estimated rain totals, and this is since the, the rain began. And about an inch of rain here in Richmond, officially out at the airport, it was 0.83. Generally about half an inch to an inch, plus in some areas, a little more than that inch in some, some spots. So a decent dousing of rainfall. Now it's starting to ease on out. Your early evening forecast, we are looking for the clouds to linger. Some spotty showers right on through mid-evening, I think. I have only a 10% chance here, but there will still be some drizzle around, I think. So in terms of any measurable precipitation, the chances will go down pretty quickly later this evening. Then Friday's forecast is we're looking at some re-blooming irises shared with us on our website by Mike Locatell. And he says this is a sign of spring during the autumn. And temperatures are going to be not bad, not quite like spring tomorrow. Upper 50s for your eyes, a little cooler than it has been. Uh, and it will be rather breezy. North and northwesterly winds, 10 to 15 
gusting over 20, 25 at times tomorrow as we get that cold front sliding through. Now Doppler radar still showing a few showers up here, inching off to the northeast. They're hanging tough up here from uh, the western part of New Kent County up through King and Queen, King William up through the uh, northern neck. Also some activity in southeastern Virginia. Some moderate showers up around Stevensville, those areas up toward Tappahannock. But for Richmond, we'll see some slow clearing here as this front inches off to the east. A secondary front comes in behind that, and we'll have a dry day tomorrow, lots of sunshine. The much colder temperature is still a little ways off, probably arriving here Sunday as more cold high pressure builds out of Canada. That will begin during the day Sunday, and you will feel the difference. Some of the coldest temperatures we've had this season so far start to move in by Sunday. Windy conditions into tomorrow evening could mean some rough surf conditions, rough water conditions along coastal areas. That's why there's small craft advisories there. They go through tomorrow evening. Hour of hour forecast for us tonight. Mid-evening, rain continues to the southeast, but then it moves on out. Clearing skies, wind shift to the north-northwest into early tomorrow morning. A cooler, breezy day. High temperatures top out in the 50s tomorrow, mid or upper 50s. And then uh, looks for partial sunshine Saturday, mid-50s, 50 degrees Sunday's high, and 20% rain chance southeastern Virginia, not so much around Richmond. Sunshine Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thanksgiving Day. Looks pretty nice, your Thanksgiving forecast. Upper 50s for the highs, looking good, lots of sunshine. It should be great weather to celebrate the holiday. Well, more 12 news coming. Today's weather is sponsored by Marks and Harrison. Tell them you mean business. The guests are coming, and Cable Rugs has thousands of deals to deck your halls. Score legendary cable quality for just $3.99. That's right, not $11.99, just $3.99 for a limited time. Cable, the best rugs at the best deals. Have you ever walked into a dealership because of an unbelievable price, only to find out that they won't honor it because you don't qualify for all the incentives? That's ridiculous and misleading. We are Royal Chevrolet, and we don't operate that way. That's why we are the dealership that's different. Our professional sales staff will do everything to deliver to you the best price with all the rebates and incentives that you deserve. So don't stop until you shop Royal Chevrolet, the dealership that's different. Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Niamtu, and you know Thanksgiving's just around the corner, so let's talk some turkey. Some patients call this extra skin under the chin a waddle, but I call it unnecessary. With the modern advances in today's cosmetic facial surgery, I can make that go away for you in less time than it takes you to bake your bird. Now that's something to be thankful for. If there's something you'd like to change, call Dr. Joe Niamtu at 934-FACE or go to lovethatface.com. The guests are coming. Time for a gorgeous new rug from Capel. Our most luxurious rugs are now 50% off. That's right, hundreds of our finest rugs are now 50% off. Cable, the best rugs and the best deals. Watch the CW News at 6.30, weeknights with Chris Thomas. It's the perfect time to get the gift you waited for all year. The redesigned Honda Accord. Complete with a new look, improved fuel efficiency, and Pandora compatibility standard. Hurry into the Happy Honda Day sales event where you can get a great deal on the Accord, the most durable, longest lasting car in its class. Now, at your Honda dealer. Every day, Dominion lineman Justin Worley helps power the industries that power our region and our nation. Here in Virginia, we have the highest concentration of tech workers in the country. And more than 50% of U.S. Internet traffic passes through our state, transforming businesses and lives. Technology is just one of the many sectors that depend on us to deliver reliable energy today and into the future. Dominion, what we do every day, powers Virginia's every day. At West Broad Honda, we say, why wait for Black Friday when you can get the deals now? All over our lot, you'll find Black Friday savings on every vehicle in stock. Check out the 2015 CRV. During Black Friday days, you can drive one for just $21,961. Yes, only $21,961. That's just one example of the savings you'll find at West Broad Honda. During Black Friday days, going on now. So stop by Richmond's most convenient Honda dealer. And remember, we're open seven days a week in sales, service, and cards. West Broad Honda. Why buy anywhere else? The world's most famous arena will serve as the backdrop for some BCU basketball history. 
Tomorrow night at Madison Square Garden, the Rams will take on a defending national champion for the first time ever, tipping off at Duke. VCU rolling in its first two games, and Will Wade saying that his team will approach this trip very businesslike. He even has his players watching film of their warm-ups after Friday's opener. Wade says this is a great chance for some of his players to step out on the national stage and make a name for themselves. If you're not excited to play in these games, you know, go go, uh, go play intramurals or something over at Cary Street. I, I look at it as a great opportunity for our guys to step out on a national stage and, and you know, and, and, and be accounted for and, and, and let folks know who they are, let folks know that, hey, we're, we're still VCU, we're not going anywhere. Tip-off tomorrow night, 7 o'clock on ESPN2. For the first time in nearly a quarter century, Virginia Union football hitting the field in the Division II playoffs. Union's remarkable two-year turnaround, adding another chapter of forward progress for the program, and Saturday the Panthers look to continue that history. Mark James and company head to Western Pennsylvania to face Slippery Rock, a team that boasts the top offense among Division II schools in the nation. After finishing 3-7 in 2013, Union has now rattled off records of 7-3 and 8-2 and and the last two years. Now, a chance to grab the first postseason game win in program history. We have nothing to lose in everything today. Um, they're the